jerseys with the white pants. South Dakota State will face Elliott. So just the second win in series history for Field, Ochoa in center, Poole in right. Infield third to first, Ashley Minor. Hilly Spellhog in the circle, and strikeouts. Yeah. Phenomenal relief performance. Home run, or off of uh, Charles, rather, with the home run. There's a strikeout for Ellie Spellhawk as she gets. So, mentioned some. Headlines. And the bats are doing just enough when you have that defense in pitching. Summit League Player of the Year. Trying to go one, two, three here in the first. Carrillo grounds to short. Ranches fires, and it is a one, two, three inning for Ellie Spellleaf in game one. The left-hander from Lincoln, Nebraska. Left side hit hard, but handled. And a nice throw across the diamond by Rosalind Carrillo. It's been sent in the outfield. The infield third to first, Tolufsen. And she bids for another one here, but Carrillo has other ideas. High throw, but a good job by Boyle at first. She's completed every play for South Dakota State. So we got a plane to catch here, 4-3. <laughs> Angelina, yeah, she and Carly Charles both excellent in the circles to and split this double header. Jocelyn, one two pitch. Could she hold up? No, it's a strikeout. The second. Lindsay Culver. In the air, left field, a mile in the air. And drifting over to make the play is Carly Spellhawk. Which in today's win, not an easy play to make across. That can be really a, a standout pitcher at Iowa State. Just on the chalk there for a base hit. First hit with a base hit in game one. She was one for three. Slightly. Cued and handled. Nicely. Date. We go to the bottom of the second. Pinch hit and struck out in game one. Two one delivery. It hits Miner in the back. So lead off. <laughs> this one Mitch is in the dirt and that'll allow Miner to go on to second. So Williams continues the transfer from Texas San Antonio. She's from Flower Mound, Texas. And she'll take a walk. So first and second now with nobody out at some point today if Iowa State will see poor pitch though by Williams and back to make a terrific play was Osmondson minor will kind of trying to strike first in game two of this double header and delivers and driven into center field for a base hit that'll bring home Andrews and it's two nothing Iowa State to Andrews. Marin pops it up right side. Will it drop? No, a terrific catch made by Mistake. Wrench has cues one to right side of the diamond. Dakota, so those were the other two schools sitting at the top of the conference. So it'll be Williams will be followed by the and drives one and Spellhawk snags it out of the air. How did she do that? Another hard hit ball. Base hit to right. No, or is it? No, they get her at first. South Dakota State, both resulting in outs, but mentioned plays. And now she grounds one to third. Minor bobbles it, but has time. No, she doesn't. Safe, because directly with 100 stolen bases in her Iowa State career. Carly Spundert for her career. And she got into coaching. Eek. So continued her playing days, and uh, it was at the time her and her fiance, a football coach, both got jobs Bemidji State, and then South Dakota State was the next. I mean, this field was in prime shape. And pretty deep, and gone! Opposite field, home run. I didn't know if that was gonna carry <laughs> out. Three home runs in that Texas Tech. She sure does. And the first baseman, Boyle, makes a nut. Rips this one, backhanded by Marecki. And Boyle reaches up. I'm going to tell you what, that right side of the infield really produced offensively and defensively. That 
one bounces in. It's a walk for Miner. She's on for the second time. It's huge right now for Alexa Williams' attack. South Dakota State won the opener 4-3. Iowa Stewart Andrews into center field and handled by Carrillo. So the Cyclones get a run on the line. Carrillo to the plate. For Kanishi, the last. Right field, pull, charging, makes the play. Player of the week this past week. Simpson will backhand, has time, fires, and gets her. And Lindsey Culver bats. So spell, <laughs> yeah. Seen some pretty good defense over there. Ellie Spellhog mm -hmm. couldn't get a glove on that one or corral it anyway, and it's an infield hit for Lindsey Culver. Brooke Dumont, who singled in her first trip. Hard hit ball results in an out. So when they hit it hard, it's an out. When they hit it soft, and Spellhog draws a leadoff walk. So good base runner aboard. Oh, that beautiful new outfield wall. Pretty straight and narrow out there. Not so sure about the word softball. There's <laughs> a crowd out 6-3. We might get into that later. It's very impressive for the right-hander. Spin lights out. Left field. If it stays fair, it's gone. And it does stay oil. That ball just creeping in. Yeah, what a throw for her. Back home in front of home run by Ellie Boyle. It's Wayne making her. And on her pitches. Oh, there's a strikeout for Swain. Good start for her. Great. It's been here in game two with the doubleheader. She. Ball four. Tolson walks. And that'll bring up. Jarecki represents. And there is a called strike three. She gets. Overall, they've been consistent, I think is the best word for it is they've thrown to bats and gotten some work done. Angeline Allen takes care of that. One run in the inning for South Dakota State. It's a weekend of April 22nd. That's also it all come together. Rancha is back up the middle, handled by Williams. One up, one down. One for two on the day, the opposite field home run. Three, two, Oh, left, and it'll get past, and she'll go to second with a double. Malaysia, oh, what a, what a season she's having. Ramos rifles one into left field. And here comes Ochoa, and she'll score. And Allen grounds out three unassisted, but the runner moves up. Miner decided she was tight. Cyclones up 4-1. Swing and a miss, got her. But the Cyclones had another run on the Michaela Ramos double. But no, two and one the count. Swain rocks and delivers. Chopped to third. Backhanded by Tyree, who's just checked in, and she fires across the diamond to get. Ten CAA tournaments in his first two years on the job. There's a shot. Base hit for Carrillo, and she'll dig for two. And she's in there sliding with a double. Jocelyn Carrillo with. To see them both going to the same team, so. Pretty neat. I think. Uh, an 0-2 here. Swing and a miss, strike three. So Swain gets her third strikeout. Out today against Cyclone pitchers. Rise ball there as a chase pitch, just gets a little too much. Delivers the 3-2. In for a strike, that'll end threat. And that's 15 Ks on the day for Cyclone. Uh, a lot of freshmen playing for Iowa State. It bats, um, very clean swing. And she'll reach safely here. 
regardless of whether it's called a hit or an error. Position now with nobody out. And that's ball four. So Cyclone's threatening again here in the sixth. A couple runners of Swings away here on a 1-0 pitch. Delivers. Marin pops it up in the air behind home plate, and Dumont makes a nice catch. Man, she has had a busy day back there, and that was a tough play with that wind. She has played quite a bit this season. Another. That pitch gets away, and there is the run for Andrews to make it five to one as Andrews scampers home. And here is Malaysia Ochoa has had herself a day. Delivers to left field again and deep and gone again. Another home run for Malaysia Ochoa, her second of the game. How about that? Malaysia Ochoa having herself a day. Two home runs and. What a day for Malaysia Ochoa. And there's Nelson with a base hit. Leah Nelson drives one into left center. Allen homered a long time ago. And then rounded out to third. Homered, doubled, and homered. <laughs> what a day. <laughs> Eight to one. Boyle, and that is a great play. You talk about your fielders <laughs> doing the work. How about Alicia Ranches? Climbing the ladder. One of them center field. Q to Ranches, and two up, two down. And Tori Tolofsen represents the last opportunity for South Dakota. And the Jackrabbits down to their last. And Marin will make the throw to end the game as Swain does get the 16th strikeout of the day. On the day from Angelina Allen, and they end up splitting the doubleheader with it.